welcome to the Year 7 STEM project, question number one. In 2020, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, P&G and Nestle's have all been sued over creating plastic waste and destroying the planet. Will lawsuits like this make a difference? For 10 years, Plastic Pollution Coalition has worked to solve our growing plastic pollution crisis. The time is now for corporations to stop polluting our planet with single-use plastic. During this project, you will need to explore and research the topic of recycling. Does the current recycling system we have in place actually work or does more need to be done? It is your job to research alternative ways from other countries or communities across the world and remember to relate this back to the question. Do you think the lawsuits will have a positive impact on the environment? Welcome to the Year 7 STEM project, question number one. In 2020, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, P&G and Nestle's have all been sued over creating plastic waste and destroying the planet. Will lawsuits like this make a difference? For 10 years, Plastic Pollution Coalition has worked to solve our growing plastic pollution crisis. The time is now for corporations to stop polluting our planet with single-use plastic. Within this slide, I have given you a little bit of background information about the lawsuit. Major companies including Coca-Cola, Nestle, Mars and Pepsi are being sued over plastic pollution by environmental campaigners. The environmental campaigner groups, the Earth Island Institute and Plastic Pollution Coalition, accuse these companies of polluting waterways, coasts and oceans with millions of tonnes of plastic packaging. The environmental campaigner groups are accusing the major companies of a failure to warn of the harms caused by their plastic packaging. The group is seeking to prevent and reduce the effects of plastic pollution on humans, wildlife, oceans and waterways in California, where the impacts are particularly large. To help you get started, I have given you some examples of possible solutions to the recycling crisis across the world. You will have seen from the previous video that just recycling alone is not enough. Due to a growing population and a higher demand for plastic, we cannot recycle quickly enough. And this is causing plastic to end up in landfills, oceans and even being shipped off to other countries. You will need to do some research to argue your points within your answer to the question. Here are some great examples to get you started. My particular favourite is Bea Johnson's TED Talk based on her book Zero Waste Home. Here I have listed a number of useful websites and resources to help you start your project. You will need to conduct your own research to back up your argument within the answer to the question. The more research you do, the more marks you will be awarded for the effort and content section of this project. Remember to keep referring back to the question, what do you think is the next step in solving or reducing the recycling crisis? Will the lawsuits have any impact on this? You must argue your point and use evidence to back up your answers. You can use the useful links and resources slide to help you, but remember you will receive more marks for effort and content if you conduct your own research. We have got some incredibly exciting summer homework projects planned for you guys. So there are two projects available for each year group, one under the heading of STEM and the other a year of seismic change. It's really important that you answer one question from each of these projects. When you go onto our website and have a look at some of these questions, you will find they are incredibly interesting and provide you with an opportunity to research and create some fantastic project ideas. You will be wondering how your projects will be marked. So in September, form tutors will mark each project based on the following criteria, effort, content and creativity. They will award a grade one to four in each category with one being outstanding. 
just want to give you a few top tips on how you can achieve a, an outstanding grading in each of these. It's really important that as part of your research that you do for each of these projects that you show that you have gone above and beyond. Present your work in a creative and unique way to catch the attention of your audience and think about the content that you include within each project. It's really important that the content that you include answers the question that has been set to you. For every grade one you achieve, your name will be entered into a prize draw. There's a separate prize draw for each category, effort, content and creativity. And if you get a grade one in all three, you will, be, you will have the chance to enter a fourth prize draw. So to the best bit then, how will you be rewarded? So for completing each project, you will receive 25 credits from your form tutor. So 25 credits for the STEM project and 25 credits for completing a year of seismic change project. So in total, by completing these two projects, you will be eligible for 50 credits come September. That is equivalent to a bronze certificate. In addition to the 50 credits, there's a fantastic opportunity here for you to win an Apple iPad. Now, there are four prize draws available to you, depending on the grading you secure on effort, content and creativity. If your form tutor awards you with a grade one, for any of the three categories, your name will be entered into the prize draw for these. Additionally, if you achieve a grade one in effort, content and creativity, all three criteria, your name will be entered into a fourth prize draw as well, increasing your chances of winning a, um, an iPad. Both projects will be marked separately, therefore there is an opportunity here for your name to be entered eight different times. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact your academy by the info at email address. We are incredibly excited about these projects and cannot wait to see the work that you produce. And most importantly, we can't wait to welcome you back in September.